Hello everybody, welcome to the Sound Test Room. Today we are taking a look at the CMOS expansion pack for the Moog Model D. Okay, so it's a 499, 30 presets inspired by the sea, wetlands and other nature documentaries. Sounds from polyphonic organ patches to muddy bass tones. Okay, let's go into AUM where I have a couple of these set up. Now we're just going to listen to this one for now. And I'm going to show you how to do some nice, cool stuff where you can blend two together and pan them left and right. And then, uh, you know, control a time offset. So you get kind of a staggered effect. It's nice. Anyway, this is f uh, called a Viradian Tone. Let's go back to the top of the expansion and start at the top. Yes. Now, what I've also done is put these going into Mixbus A so I can put some reverb on. This is just a free reverb from Audio Kick, completely free. It's called Rack Reverb. And it's really nice. Because many sounds sound uh, much better with a re reverb on them. And I've also got the free spiral chorus. bit of chorus as well so A lot of these sounds are quite quiet, so you might want to give it a bit of uh, a bit of a boost with some gain or something, or just turn the volume up a bit.
Good for cinematic stuff. So this is a nice patch. <clears throat> Excuse me. The initial hit was a, has a, a pitch modulation, and if you play legato, then like don't take your finger off the first key. And then, like I said, great with reverb. I mean, Model D has effects, but it doesn't really have a, a reverb, although you can kind of make the delay sound like a bucket brigade delay, which if you have it fast, it will sound like a reverb. sound with tons of reverb on it as well <clears throat> almost like a fog horn it's called palm mega horn megaphone sorry really low
people who need some headphones on. So I reckon we've, yeah, looks like we've tracked through all the patches, all the 30 patches. So, and gone back around to the beginning again. So, so this thing here I've got with two, right, let's take that out. Let's just um, take that game back to normal. Right, so I'm going to pan this one all the way over, well, not all the way, I'll pan it most of the way over to the left. And... This one, now you'll 
we'll see I've got this time offset, which is part of AUM. If we set these to both kind of, uh, let's see. Let's set them both to this decomposition base. I'll go to this one here. You can get some nice effects. And you can use this idea with any kind of um, <clears throat> synth. Here we go, decomposition base. So now both are playing the same. Now, if we take out the, you'll see they both play exactly the same time. But they're doubled up, obviously, because... Once we use the time set offset, if we swing this time offset, well, we do, all we need to we can go we can go extreme a hundred percent plus, and then we can go a hundred percent minus. Now this is usually used for correcting delay compensation between apps and things. Some you can if you open an app like this, long hold it. Or sorry, if you swipe to the left. Or is it the right? The right. Right, we do it on this first one. You can see that no, that's not, not causing any delay. Um, let's just move along. No delay compensation on this one. But some apps give quite a lot of delay. So what I'm going to do is play it now. Can you hear it? Some apps with um, high CPU use, usage will give a big delay compensation, so you can adjust it with the time offset, so it brings it back in time when you're playing. Anyway, but you don't need to go that extreme, of course. We can kind of just go like this, keep it chilled. <laughs> It sounds quite nice and of course you can mix and match sounds you don't need to obviously keep the same sound maybe there was one really good one there where was it um kind of um, deserted radio tower i'll put it on this one as well so we need to find the same preset you don't need to use the same preset you can use different sounds of course but Let's go with this. Here we go. Deserted Radio Tower. And this patch. Take the modulation off it. See, it's really, it's really cool. It, you could go a bit more with this. Actually, it still sounds good. Like I said, you don't need to use that particular patch bank. You can use any synth you like and do the same kind of thing. And it's nice. You can hear the stereo. If it's less, of course, like I said, if it's... Take all this off. Now it just sounds like a mono synth, even though we've got these panned. But if we've got them hard panned left and right, you don't hear any difference. But if you add a little tiny bit, Let's reset this to its default, which is zero set. And uh, we can drag this one back down to almost zero. In fact, let's just do like that. So this will give the same effect as it, it not been used. So, but as soon as you start to move one off center or offset the time of one, You'll start to hear the stereo. So if you don't go nuts. You can hear the stereo separation better. And we can make this more obvious if we increase the range.
So there you go, guys. There is a few little messing around with your synths. Uh, best always use a bit of reverb. Like I said, this reverb is free and this chorus is free. So that's Spiral Chorus and Rack Reverb from Audio Kit. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. Please consider becoming a Patreon. And there you go. CMOS expansion pack for the Moog Model D. Thank you for watching. I will see you later. Ta-da.